I have something here for you. Cerveza Cristal! Cerveza Cristal! Ooh! That never gets old. What's up, guys? And welcome to this Bad Batch Theory live stream where today we're going to be talking about who is Clone CX2, which is like what everybody's talking about right now since last Wednesday's episodes of Bad Batch episodes, what was it, six and seven, Infiltration and Extraction. So I do have a poll in the chat. So go ahead and vote on the poll and towards the end of the video or maybe halfway through, we'll take a look to see what most people think. That way we'll give people a chance to come in and kind of vote. But definitely vote on the poll. I got Tech on there, Commander Cody, Crosshair Clone, and a random clone. So let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have any other theories, which I already see one in the chat from Victor, which is a good one. We're going to talk about that for sure. Drop it in the chat. Drop, And if you guys are watching on the replay, comment your theories on who you think this freaking clone is. Because, man, this Winter Soldier-ass clone, I'm dying to see who it is. But I have a feeling like Maroc, we're going to have all these high expectations of who this clone is. And it could be like Maroc, literally nobody. It could just be a random clone whose mind's wiped. So before we get into it, I want to see uh, say what's up to the chat. We got a couple of you guys in here early. Appreciate you guys. And shout out to all 10 of you guys watching right now. Be sure to hit that like button. So first we got Parodi Paradigm YT. What up, man? I can see a Crosshair clone or maybe tech very little, but either Crosshair clone or someone else. How are you today? I'm good, man. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, that's the question, man. Is it a Crosshair clone? Do they find Tech's body and, like, Winter Soldier him up? I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to think. I don't really like the Tech thing. I know a lot of people think it's Tech, especially because of, like, the infrared from his legs that there's nothing there. But if it is Tech, it kind of takes away what happened at the end of season uh, in season two. So I hope it's not Tech. I hope it's not Tech. All right, so Victor says it's cut Laquain. Now, this is a deep cut, and I'm going to bring up a picture to see if you remember cut, because cut was in Clone Wars and one of the earlier seasons of Bad Batch, right? What was... Uh... Let me bring up this picture. That way you guys can know. This would be kind of crazy and messed up if it was. But I would kind of feel bad for his family if it was Cut. But Cut is actually this trooper right here. So do you guys remember the, the those episodes in Clone Wars? I think it was like the 212 troopers. They went to that planet and, uh, the, and Cut was there. Was that? Yeah, it was in Clone Wars too, right? It definitely was in Bad Batch. I might be tripping. But this is the guy that like kind of defected. And he married like that Twi'lek chick and he had like two kids on that one planet. So, Victor, let me know why you think it's cut. Because that's like so random and out of left field. But I love it because if it was to be cut, that shit would kind of hurt and it would be meaningful. So let me know, Victor, why, why you say cut. But this is this is who he's talking about, guys. So let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys think it could be cut. Which is nuts, bro. Like, nuts. So, good theory. We got Tyler Grubbs in the building. What up, Tyler? How you doing, man? Rest in peace, Nemec and Fireball. I know. Like, bro, they're slowly knocking them out. And it's only going to get worse. I, at least, though, we know Rex is good. We know uh, Wolf is going to be good, even though he kind of you know, did what he wasn't supposed to. And then we know Gregor's going to be good. So we know for a fact that at least those three clones survive, right? But, like, the rest? Bro. And, like, Cody and Echo. Like, are we going to see Cody? Is Cody this Winter Soldier? And then Echo? Like, are we going to see Echo's death? I don't know, man. I don't even know. What up, Langy? It could be Cody. 
Like, we don't know where he is, and he's not in Rebels, unlike Wolf or Gregor. Exactly. Like, we know Cody, we know he went AWOL, right? So he either escapes, like, legit, he's out there hiding, or they mind-wiped him and made him that Winter Soldier. So that's a good theory. Uh, So, damn, wow. <clears throat> so far, we have eight votes in the poll, and it's pretty much tied. Two of you guys said Tech, two of you guys said Cody, two said Crosshair, and two said a random clone. So be sure to vote. We're going to give us some more time to see if that changes, but it's crazy how it's split with everybody. Like, nobody knows who this damn clone is, and, like, the way they portrayed him in the episode, it kind of makes you think that it's somebody that we know. Because, like, the little things that he said, like, first he was like, why did you activate me? Like, that was real specific, right? And then when he was fighting Crosshair, he kind of matched him move for move. And he was like, you had a chance to join us. So, like, if it's tech, was he was he saying you had a, a chance to join the Bad Batch again? Or is it just some other clone and he's just saying you had a chance to join, like, this Winter Soldier program or whatever? So, I don't know, man. I just wonder how long they're going to drag that out and us have no idea who this this uh, Bucky Barnes is, man. Galactic Empire Sumo. What is up? What's happening, everybody? Just got done with COVID. Glad to be watching. Man, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're good now, man. Appreciate you being here. That would be heartbreaking. Pro what, for cut, right? Yeah. Yeah, this would... this. So this is something kind of out of left field that they're not expecting. But, man, this would be crazy, man. Because right away, I'd be like, where's the wife and kids? Like, no. Did they order 66 the family? Like, look right here. The full family. Imagine if it was... Uh, we didn't get to see what happened with this family. If it was cut, that'd be nuts, man. That'd be super nuts. Pull up the comment I left on the reaction video for episode 3-7. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You went in on that, right? Let's bring it up real quick. Uh 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 episode seven. All right, so Victor said, let's see. I think it's cut the deserter with the Twi'lek wife and children. We don't know much about him. We know he still has the inhibitor chipped intact but don't have any information as to why he wasn't affected by Order 66 and others. His inclusion in the episodes is also very random. He's aware of what's taking place because he stays in connect with Rex, which is true. You're right. He does stay in connection with Rex, but is never part of anything. We also haven't seen him since the first season of Bad Batch where he escaped with his family. So we know he's not on that planet no more, which is true. He could have gotten captured, and because he still has in, his inhibitor chip, maybe he got activated, which made him susceptible to follow orders once again. Wow. That is true, man. Man, it, yo, if it is cut, you guys heard it here first, straight from Victor. Like, what? That's crazy. Man. That is dope. Uh, whatever happened to Cut, Victor right there just explained everything to you. We don't know. We know he escaped off that planet, like, with Omega, and they had Omega, had him get them chain codes and stuff, remember? So we know he's off planet. He could be anywhere, but technically he still has his chip in there, right? So I don't know, man. That's a really, really good one. Nighthawk. Yo, yo, what up, Nighthawk? Welcome to the stream. Tyler said, I'm doing good. I bought Battlefront Classic on the Switch. Nice. Was playing before your stream. Did you happen to Theory? Did, did you hear what happened to Theory's eye? Yeah, I saw his uh, his Instagram post. I told him for his live streams, he needs to just get an eye patch <laughs> until he gets it fixed. But hopefully uh, everything goes well. Oh, we got some more votes in the poll. All right, guys. So if you guys are just tuning in, be sure to vote on the poll who you think CX2 is. 12 votes so far. We're going to let it cook up a little bit more. Yo, Paul, what up, bro? We got Paul in the building. Yo, Tony. 
How you been? I've been good, man. How you doing, man? I'm chilling, man. I'm I'm missing the freaking convention life, bro. I'm like planning out my next con, man. Like I can't wait to go to the next one. I think my next con con is Tampa Bay Comic Con in August. So I'm waiting for them to announce more guests, but that's my next convention. So looking forward to that. Captain Solo in the building. What's up, Captain Solo? All right. Captain Solo said, it's got to be Cody. He's the only major clone whose story was left open-ended. We see Tech fall. We see Cut run away. We've only been told Cody went AWOL. Yeah. If it is Cody, I, I mean, I kind of don't want it to be Cody either, man. I, uh... Because I want Cody to come back, and I want more of Cody being Cody. I want to see Cody and Rex's reunion so bad. What do you guys think of Rex and Wolf's reunion? Because I got to say, when Rex and Wolf reunited, oh, man, that was just beautiful. Like, like Wolf was like, Rex, I thought you were dead. Like, it was so meaningful. And, like, that moment just hit, man. So let me know what you guys thought about Rex and Wolf that reunion and you know we're going to get another one because clearly he's going to escape from the empire and join rex so i think that second one is going to be just as good and badass bro same mine is in, in october seeing hayden again ray park and gina carano where where are you seeing those guys in october where's hayden going to be at in october I know Hayden just got announced for Philly for Fan Expo for May the 4th. And uh, him and Rosario have a, a, a panel um, on May the 4th, which is dope. But where is Hayden Christensen going to be at? Let me know. Oh, is it San Antonio? Yeah, SpaceCon. Yep. Oh, in your hometown. Hell yeah, that's clutch. That's clutch. You're talking about this one right here. Yeah, man. That oh, freaking Hayden, bro. Like, I, I'll take every chance I get to, to meet Hayden, man. Every chance. And you, and you got Maul. Maul needs to come to Central Florida. He, he just was in, like, North Florida and South Florida, and I couldn't make it because it was, like, a four-hour drive either way. He needs to be come to Central Florida, bro. I'm dying to meet Ray Park. Oh, man. Damn. Hey, I mean, there could be still be a reunion, just as one-sided. Yeah, man, that's true. Uh, sorry about the grammar. It's auto-correcting everything I type. It's all good, Tyler. Don't worry. Uh, man, I'm on the fence to get Ray auto for space cons since I'm going to Japan. Well... If you're going to be there, I mean, Japan is still a long time away. So, like, I would take advantage of it because I've been trying to get Ray Park locally for me. And it's been, I've been waiting years to try to get him. So, not that he's, like, super hard to get, but it can be depending on where you live. So, I would take advantage of it, man. It's freaking Darth Maul, bro. And, like, I don't think he'll be at Celebration. So, yeah, man. Any upcoming Ross trip halls? Nah, man. I went yesterday, nothing. So I'm off tomorrow. I might hit up a couple to see because there's a lot of Black Series figures hitting Ross. So I'll definitely be checking that out for sure. All right. So the first, let's go, let's go through who each could be, right? And like, let's see reasons why or why not. So tech is the one that everyone's saying. So many people say tech. I honestly hate this. I don't want it to be tech at all, right? The one reason I don't think it's going to be tech is because when the the CX one was captured, he said to Crosshair, "You like he like he knew Crosshair, and then they were asking Crosshair, how do you know him?" And Crosshair said that they tried to get him to join that program, and it didn't work because he's defective, right? So like right there, that's kind of like okay. Tech is defective, so if it didn't work on Crosshair, 
why would it work on tech? It just doesn't make sense. So I know people are saying like, and I mentioned it earlier, like when when he had the inf the infrared on, it looked like the guy didn't have legs. So they're like, oh, is it tech? Now that CX two, I think it was more than tech. It was kind of crazy. It's almost like he's like a super scroll. If you're familiar with Marvel, right? That that's what it felt like. Cause dude got crushed by the rocks. He lifts him up like it was nothing, just like Wrecker. Then that dude is fighting Crosshair with the vibro blade out. And he, he kind of looked like Hunter because Hunter always has that short blade. And, you know, it, it kind of was very Hunter-ish. His, his, his shot is just like freaking Crosshair's. So he's spot on with the shot. And then as far as tech-wise, as far as tech, he his ship and how he controls it with like his shoulder pad and stuff that's very technologically advanced similar to tech's brain so i almost want to say that that the cx2 is going to be a random clone that's like a super soldier mixed with all the bad batch all the best abilities of each of them and it's going to be a random clone but they're going to they're going to talk about how they pumped the brains from tech the shot from crosshair the power from wrecker the stealth from Hunter. I think it's going to be like a super skull. I don't think it's going to be like tech. So let's see what you guys are saying here in the chat before we get to the next one. Do you guys also remember the clone Tup who shot the Jedi all Tiplar before Order 66? That one accident. I don't think we know what happened to him after that, right? It's clone Tup. Clone Tup. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what happened to Tup. You're right. That could be another one. Oh, Tup was killed. Confirmed by Captain Solo. Uh, Tyler says... As much as I would like to see Commander Cody, I do want it to be him because I want to see more Cody as himself. Could be Dogma, though. Yeah. So that's tech, right? So be sure to keep voting, guys. We got 13 votes right now. Commander Cody is actually leading the votes right now, 31%. So speaking of Cody, here he is right here now. It could be Cody. I'm I'm more in the camp where I think it's a better chance that it's Cody than Tech. But I kind of want to see Cody as Cody, man. I want to see that reunion, Cody with Rex. And I want to see uh event. I would like to see eventually Cody reunited with Kenobi and apologizing. I would love that. I thought we were gonna get that in the Kenobi show. We didn't. But I don't, I don't think it's Cody. No, no, no. Now, this is an interesting one. I think I saw this on a couple of videos. Uh, I think Connor and Seth at Beyond the Dune C were talking about this. I want to say maybe Star Wars Meg was talking about it on a video and a few other people. But what if it's a crosshair clone? But like maybe a little more enhanced because he does seem to match with crosshair a lot. And that would be kind of crazy if you took that mask off and it was crosshair's face. Right. And another thing that kind of, I don't want to say alludes to this, but episode number 10 is called identity crisis. And then episode number 11 is point of no return. So like, what if, uh, what if that is a clone of Crosshair and they pull the mask off and like, you know, the, they're trying to figure out which is the real Crosshair. Like, are you the clone? Are you the real Crosshair? So that is a very interesting one that I like until I heard people talking about it. I was like, holy shit, like that's crazy. But episode 10 is called Identity Crisis. So, I mean, that can mean a lot of things with a lot of different people. Right. But. I don't know. I think I would like this one better because I want Cody to be Cody. I want Tech, rest in peace, to stay six feet under. So I think I would like a crosshair clone. 
Now, wait, wait, wait. One thing, though, guys. <clears throat> so, the only way I would like it if it was tech is if we didn't find out who it was to the finale and it's like a cliff hender, cliff cliff cliffhanger a cliffhanger ending so say you know we get through the whole show the whole story everybody dies and then all of a sudden at the very end we see cx2 he pulls his mask off and it's tech and then the show just ends i would like that because it'd be like holy shit what does that mean what's gonna happen and who knows if we're gonna get like a second show that's related to clones in general or whatever but if it were to be tech, I would want it to be like that. Super dramatic at the end and no expl no explanation, no nothing. But if it isn't that way, I don't want to see tech early on as CX2. Like, leave him dead or do a crazy cliffhanger to be like, boom, blow your mind. Like, I, I like that. That's crazy. I don't know what you guys think. But, but for those of you guys that just popped in, I've seen a few of you guys more pop in. Be sure to vote on the poll in the chat. Oh, so it changed a little bit. Now we have in the lead a random clone. So 29% of you guys think it's going to be a random clone. So, yeah. Uh, let's see what you guys are saying. What up, Lewis? Welcome to the stream, my guy. It's not, it's not Fennec, man. Bro, it's not Fennec. We see Fennec in the trailer as Fennec. She's not going to be a super soldier. Nah, nah, nah. Yo, nah, 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 nah. And Lewis, if it is Fennec, holy shit, you were right. But I don't, I don't think it makes sense to be Fennec. I don't think so. Tup died after the chip was removed from his brain. Damn, rest in peace. All I want to see is the animated Boba Fett with his suit. So, predictions, I think we're for sure going to get Boba Fett, right? Star Wars Ironside, what's up, man? How old is Boba Fett during this time? He's, yep, exactly. He's about, like, maybe around, like, 15 years old. Probably in that range right there, like Victor just said. So I just finished reading the Dark Disciple book, and he's in there twice. And he's doing mi missions with Asajj Ventures twice. Bounty hunting missions with Asajj Ventures. So we know for a fact Asajj Ventures is in this, right? We know for a fact Boba Fett is Omega's brother. So we kind of assume and want to see that. But also, episode three, with the with the young, the young, the young cadets, the young regs, Mox was voiced by Daniel Logan, who voices Boba Fett in Clone Wars, the animated show, and he was Boba Fett in Attack of the Clones, right? So you're telling me y'all had Daniel Logan in the studio. And you invite him there to record lines for Mox, and that's it. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he went there, he recorded for Mox, and he recorded lines for Boba Fett. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see Boba. We know the Empire sends a bunch of bounty hunters to try to find Omega. And um, in Empire Strikes Back, what bounty hunter works for Vader? Boba Fett. Maybe we'll see how Boba gets his first job with the Empire and becomes a hired bounty hunter by the Empire. Maybe we'll see that in animated form, which would be crazy. And then Omega's bow caster she just got looks just like uh, Boba Fett's rifle. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see Boba, and I cannot wait to hear my boy Daniel Logan's voice again. Shout out to Daniel Logan. This dude is so cool. Never gets old meeting him. So that's pretty much everything I had for the clone stuff. We're going to get into some more news that dropped today, earlier today. Now, Phantom Menace is coming to theaters on May the 3rd. It's a, for the whole weekend, right? Allegedly, and this is pretty dope. And I, 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 if this is true, I like this because, like, it's cool that, oh, if you want to see the trailer or the first look at something, you got to go to the theater. Like, they 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 used to do that back in the day. So I remember back in 98 when the Phantom Menace trailer dropped, 
you had to go to the movies to see it. And I think the, the movie was Mighty Joe Young. So the movie Mighty Joe Young came out and that movie premiered the Phantom Menace trailer. So that was the only way to see it back in like the late 90s, right? So they're saying here that Acolyte footage rumored to be attached to the Phantom Menace re-release. And they're also talking about original and prequel 4K theatrical re-releases as well. So in this article, they're saying, let's see what it is. So Cryptic 4K shared that a trailer for Acolyte was being prepared and that episode runtimes for the series run from 30 to 45 minutes, yada, yada, yada. Uh, let's see. The Acolyte is rumored to release on June 5th. Where's the thing about the freaking... Uh, so an exclusive look at Acolyte will be paired with the already announced re-release of The Phantom Menace, which returns into theaters to celebrate the 25th anniversary. So basically, they kind of did that for Rogue One, right? When Rogue One, they put it back in theaters and they did like a little Andor thing before it. So basically, if you go see Phantom Menace that weekend, my guess is May 3rd, 4th, or 5th, that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they'll have either the Acolyte trailer or a scene from Acolyte before Phantom Menace, and maybe that Monday online they'll release the trailer so that'll get buzz and you know people to go to the theater to see that first there early and then they'll drop it online so let me know what you guys think about that that's pretty cool i was planning on seeing phantom menace anyway so it's not like oh you tricked me into going like bro i'm gonna be there thursday or friday the very first show shit if this show's thursday i'm gonna go thursday because i want to get that poster if they give it out so But yeah, looking forward to that for sure. Yo, yo, how's everybody? What up, Ballista? What up, Dilron? It's a shame there's no new big content aside from trailers for May the 4th. Yeah, well, I mean, if this is true about the, the re-release, supposedly, let's see if it says more details about it. And I, I've seen it everywhere else, but the rumor is they're going to drop the original pre the original trilogy in 4K on Saturday, May the 4th, right? And then on Sunday, May the 5th, it's gonna be the pre the whole prequel trilogy in 4K. Now, that's kind of badass. I know there's a lot of younger people who didn't get to see that in theaters growing up. So that's really cool for them. For me, Phantom Menace was the first movie I saw back in 99, and I saw all of them in theaters. So, like, I'm super hyped. But if it is true and I get to, on Saturday, May the 4th, watch A New Hope, then Empire, then Return of the Jedi on the big screen, that's going to be special for me because I've never seen them on the theater. I did see Empire in 2020 when it came back for the anniversary. But seeing A New Hope and Return of the Jedi, I missed Return of the Jedi last year. But seeing A New Hope and Return of the Jedi on the big screen is going to be insane. I'm hyped for that. But what I'm more hyped for is Sunday, I'm going to go see Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith because I'm going to see Phantom Menace Friday, so I'll knock that out. But Sunday, seeing Revenge of the Sith in 4K, in IMAX, to see the, the Battle of Heroes, the duel on Mustafar, to see on a giant screen with surround sound, Anakin, you are my brother! From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Like, just, just to relive all those moments right now with today's technology and theaters, I'm just hyped. I'm so hyped. So I hope it's true. If At, at the very least, if it's not true, I'm going to watch Phantom Menace a few times, and hearing the Duel of Fates and Surround Sound is going to be badass. Uh, do they improve the CGI on these re-releases, or do they just leave things as they were? No, they just, like, render it up to 4K. So, like, if you have, like, the 4K DVDs, it's just like that. Hopefully, there's a surprise us on the 4th. That would be cool, but the only thing I could think of would be, like, Tales of the Jedi Season 2 would be dope. But for the first season, we got a trailer before we knew it was coming, right? So, I don't think, I don't think they're going to do that. So, always happy to catch a stream. Appreciate that. For sure. But yeah, so the poll ended basically 
38% of you guys think that it is a random clone. So, so yeah, guys. So that's pretty much everything I have for today. Just a quick little stream. Uh, I hope they secretly canceled the acolyte. Why? I'm looking. I'm hyped and looking forward to the acolyte. I saw the trailer at London Celebration. It looks amazing. It looks so good. Now, that doesn't mean it will be good, right? But for the Acolyte, it has potential to be, like, badass. Now, we'll see once we get that first episode. But from what I saw, it looks really, really, really good. Am I the only one that doesn't want to see Ahsoka and Bad Batch? I know she's important, but I'm tired of seeing her on everything. Yeah, I don't think we will. Well, releasing the trailer would ruin the surprise. No, 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 I know that. I'm just saying that I don't know if, if Tales would be a surprise because, like, for the first season of Tales, we did get a trailer beforehand. So for this, I don't know if they would want to just do that. I have a feeling that they, they're going to save it for maybe in the... I don't even know, man. I have no idea. No idea. But all right, guys, I'm gonna about to get out of here. I need to go eat. I'm very hungry. But appreciate you guys for popping in. And uh, appreciate you guys in the chat. Be sure to hit that like button. If you guys are new, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye, guys.